Hey guys, a uh, quick video on your climate control and in particular what this button does, how it works and when to change it. Alright, so it's pretty straightforward what the recirculate button does to some people, but some people don't really get it. So, you know, back to simple things, let's explain when's the best time to use fresh, when's the best time to use recirculate and what it's actually doing. Okie dokes. Now, the reason we're doing this driving is we may be able to give some examples of one of the most likely times we're going to put it on recirculate. We've got a bit of rain, a little bit of light rain at the moment, so we'll just put it on uh, intermittent, uh, see how that goes. So basically, okay, out of all your climate control system or your whatever it is, whichever vehicle you got, whether it's climate control or not, I actually prefer not climate control. Just quickly on that one, have you ever noticed like it's really hot and you'll set it on, uh, might be set, it, let's say you set your temperature on say 23, say you like 23, notice when it's really hot, uh, 23 is not enough and if you go lower, it'll it'll pump it a bit harder, the fan will blow harder or it'll, do, it'll make different, the climate control will make changes to make it colder but then for example, if you uh, leave it on, say, 21, so you've gone down to 20 or 21 to make it colder, then when it's, uh, so that's for when it's hot, but when it's cold, uh, if you put it back to 23, you can still be cold, you need to go up to 25. And you might even need to go to 26 to be warm enough when it's cold. So it's not really true climate control because otherwise you just set it on 22 and a half degrees or whatever your temperature is and you'd be happy all the time. And I'm sure some people do find that, but that's not what I find. So in the comments at the end, please let me know, does climate control work for you? Yes, I'm happy with climate control or no, I I know what you mean. I'm always changing because that's what I find. So in a new Prado, I prefer the GX because you just, it's one click of the button up or down, warmer, cooler, because warm, you're constantly changing it anyway. So you may as well just have a warmer cooler button and then a lot of these automated things don't happen and the whole dual zone thing I know you know it blows different air temperatures from one side to the other I mean you're in the same cabin space it's all going to mix within seconds anyway so what a joke you know like they're just trying to make more luxuries for you to upgrade your luxury so you can upgrade your car but is it really an upgrade now back to the main point and that is climate control recirculate or fresh so when it's on fresh it's exactly that so when you've got that like straight arrow this is information for any vehicle so any motor vehicle right you've got a fresh recirculate button and when you've got that straight arrow on you know it's sort of like directing it so it's got the arrow starts like outside the front windscreen and the, the arrow kind of goes through the car that's literally what it is so your air is generally coming in on most vehicles somewhere below the front windscreen you know above the back of the bonnet you know there's some vents there you know there's a couple of different air what goes into the heater box now so you're bringing fresh air in but for that to flow if you've got all your windows up which is what a lot of people do most of the time it's quieter so it's better for your ears and your hearing it's better to stop other debris and dangerous things that could come flying in and out your window it's better for fuel economy so windows up and fresh air a lot of the time is a good option but for it to actually flow and be able to work it needs to go out somewhere and that's where they have those you know uh exit we'll call it exit air vents i don't know what they're called the proper name whatever but you know different places on different cars but quite a lot they're down behind that back bumper bar we just put out another video well, I'm not sure if we've uh, actually put it out yet or not, but we, we've just made another video. It may be out there. I think it is. It's on our uh, it's on our touring channel, 4 Before Touring Australia. So check that one out if you haven't seen it. And it shows where you know whether you, it's probably called. Do you need a snorkel or not? And whether you need uh, you know just understanding that those exit air vent type things are in behind the rear bumper bar and they're not that high off the ground. So there was a few questions from that and that's where the air goes out now obviously if you've got your windows down a little bit then the air will go out there and that will also override you know it'll go out there rather than travel all the way to the back of the vehicle now the problem you've got is if you're traveling in dusty conditions in your 4x4 and you've got it on fresh and your windows up and your fan on at least 
two or three. I mean, the higher the fan, the more the cabin pressure that helps you keep that dust out. So if all your windows are up and your fan's on about the medium speed, let's say two or three out of five, you've got a certain cabin pressure there and it's pushing out those vents. If you don't have, if you've got the fan on low or if you switch it to recirculate, let's just go straight to the recirculate. So what's the difference? Well, when you put it on recirculate, the air still, no, it's, it's not coming in those vents anymore, right? So that intake that's at the bottom of the windscreen, a flap closes and it seals that off. So that's really great. Stops all the dust from coming in, right? Wrong. That's what you thought. And that's why I'm doing this video. So if you stuck around, yeah, it's taken me about five minutes to spit it out, whatever, but there's more information. I'm going to try and explain in detail so you can understand it, right? When you put it on recirculate, that flap closes. And then what happens, the air is doing exactly that. It's recirculating. So if someone's got BO, bad breath, foot odor, whatever the case may be, yes, that's what everyone's smelling. Have you ever got in a car or someone's car and you go, poor, it stinks in here. First thing you do is you look at the recirculate button and you go, yep, it's on. It's always on recirculate. So they're constantly recirculating their own foot odor, bad breath, and whatever they've been eating. You know, you are what you eat. That's what you're gonna sweat out, breathe out, put out, right? No problem with that. And if you like your own smell, good, but you know, I hope you don't have too many passengers because you know, not that exciting for everyone else. So what you should do is run it on fresh as much as you can. Now, our vehicles like now, I'm on fresh. Now, when I people say, well, what's the point of the recirculate button? What would you even use it for? Well, here's an example where we've got a plenty of distance between us and other vehicles. Um, it all depends, there's a whole lot of variables. So are you close behind someone, right? Or uh, basically, are you, yeah, so are you close behind someone? This guy's in a hurry, right? Okay, oh, here we go, right, yeah, okay, yep. So, you know, don't pre-plan. So the problem we got here is, guys, that I was catching up to the red Alfa Romeo and I was planning ahead um, that basically uh, I'm going to be uh, going past it, but they all sped up, right? So, and then before I could even contemplate moving over again, because some people are going, oh, you're a lane hog. I'll have you know, uh, we're, we're pushing the speed limit a little bit here, but look, the problem is everybody needs to learn to use cruise control as we were, okay? Because what happened, that red, so we're off topic for a minute, this red car here, Alfie, we've slowed down again now, just to see, and they've slowed down as well, right? So everybody's slowed down, this is the thing, right? Everybody's slowed down, I'm just gonna slow down another notch, this is the thing, but we're still going past them, right? Now you watch this, right? Probably because they were speeding before, right? They're dropping back. I'm not gonna change my speed and you watch them start take off because they're gonna speed up again after the speed camera. Because they have to slow down for the speed camera because they're speeding, there they go, only a little bit. Well, they can't do much, they've got a car in front of them, right? But see how it's nudging forward, he wants to get going again, now he's going, everyone's going, you're a lane hog. I'm just trying to do the speed limit. And if you guys do the same, I'll be able to stay over in that lane because you're speeding up, slowing down, you just make driving a job for us all, okay? So by the way, guys, right now I'm on the speed limit. Um, anyway, so what do I do here? Do I move over and I'm tailgating them? Do I slow down to 90 so I'm not tailgating them? Do I stay here? What's the rules here, right? So yeah, we've gone completely, now they're slowing down. Ah, oh, it's an 80 zone, that's good. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna slow down as well. So hopefully here they'll speed and we'll be able to drop far enough back and get back where we were before. Right, here we go, here we go. We're gonna set the uh, cruise control again and we'll see what happens and we can get back where we were. Now, I've completely lost my train of thought, fully distracted, just about start again and do another video because we're talking more about people and their inconsistent speed, which is a very relevant topic um, because, yeah, like I said, they just make a job. So, recirculate. These vehicles are running fairly clean. I'm not smelling anything. Doesn't mean it's not out there, but while you've got it on fresh and you want fresh air, uh, and that's a good thing these days, motor vehicles, their engines and the emission systems are much better. So everything runs a lot cleaner. So if you're out in the open air, in the country air, or you've got a good distance from the vehicles in front of you like this, and there's a bit of a breeze blowing, it's gonna blow anything that's coming out of their tailpipe off the road, so you're good to run on fresh okay run on fresh no problem now 
What's the recirculate button for? That's for when you're in a bit more traffic and you're smelling the fumes, it's not good for you, and or you start coming up the road and you see a Nissan up there or, or a, look, let's not name, but it's not even a joke, right? There's more Toyotas on the road than anything else. I don't see them blowing smoke. It's every other vehicle, right? So when I see these vehicles, you know, brrr, blowing smoke, that's where, boom, I'm hitting that recirculate button now before I get to them. It's so that it doesn't come into our fresh air vents so we're not breathing it, okay? So that's what it's for. I hope that explains for you what the recirculate button's for. That's all it's for. It's not for dust. When you go on a dusty dirt road and you go, oh, I don't want to be in his dust, you need to drop back and get out of it because it's filling up your air filter. It's filling up your cabin filter only if you're on fresh, but that's why the idea is to get out of the dust. The cabin filter will filter that dust. It won't come into your cabin. The system does work. So don't worry, so everybody else is speeding, right? So we can we can manage it if everybody's consistent. It's a bit hard when people are in. So if we're catching up with someone, we're gonna move up. Hey, Prado over there in the left lane, right? So what happens, right, if you got it on fresh, that fresh air vent stays open, the cabin filter filters it, you only get air into your cabin and the air flows out those ducts at the rear. As soon as you put a window down, you lose cabin pressure. So if you don't mind dust in the car, and you got your window down anyway, then don't worry about it. These are for the people that want to breathe clean air and keep the interior inside behind their trims of the car clean as possible. Okay, I'll say clean as possible. It's only, it does work really well, but it all depends how well everything's sealed, how old the car is. Okay, so put it on recirculate. If you don't want to get a dirty cabin filter, but you want a dirty car, put it on fresh if you want a dirty cabin filter but you want a clean car. Guys, that's long enough. I hope I've explained it. Sorry about the uh, traffic issue. I do my best, uh, obviously, not to sit in the right lane, but I do plan ahead, and right now we're going back into the 100 zone, so we're gonna get the speed back up to the speed limit again. And, and what I do is, yeah, exactly that. If I see, if I'm catching up to someone, let's say I was behind in the same lane as this Prado, I'm catching up to him at a rate of about 4 k's an hour, so I move lanes now like back there a bit, you know, not so I nearly run into him. It's a safety thing, right? He's doing under the speed limit and that's fine. He's not in the right lane. Guys, don't be in the left lane. That's for the traffic to come on and off the freeway. If you've got three or four lanes, if you've only got two, please be in the left lane. If you're coming on the on-ramp, it's up to you to get your speed up, to blend in and fit in between the vehicles. Know that they're traveling at about the speed limit, about 100 k. so you don't, you know, you don't want to be hitting the brakes and stopping, but you don't want to be expecting the person in the left lane to have to move over. There could be someone that's about to go past them and they can't do that. They shouldn't have to hit the brakes down to 70 because you didn't lift your game and get up to the speed limit, okay? Get up to the speed limit. Now, what I'm trying to explain is, see this white vehicle is traveling at about the same speed. We're catching it at about 1K an hour, so that's fine. But where we've got a problem is very soon, I'm, I'm still gaining on it. You might not be able to judge that, as I was the red car. So about now I'm gonna say, okay, I'm moving over. Now, if at that point that red car speeds up two kilometers an hour, all of a sudden I'm not gaining, and I've got someone behind me speeding, they're coming up at about 10 k's an hour faster than me, they're gonna run me down, or 20 k's or more. Right, see what's happened here. So, you know, they've slowed, sped up a little now. They've slowed down. Inconsistent speed, guys. Please, use your cruise... I'm on cruise control. My speed's the same, right? It makes it really easy for everyone. So there's your bonus tip. Use your bloody cruise control. I might even call the video that. Uh, or I should call it, you know, what's with the climate control and the recirculate. Thanks for watching, guys. If you've got something like that, please give us a thumbs up. You've got plenty of information. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Turn the bell on. We've got better videos than this. See ya.